Mr. Tabley assures us with the utmost confidence that the 666 number of the beast, spoken of in Revelations 13, is embedded in every UPC code found on virtually every product bought or sold in the United States and in the world. He suggests that these sixes are found in the three guard bands which occur in every code. One in the beginning, one at the end, and the other in the middle. He points out in his example the pattern of bars here that represents the six and their similarity to the patterns in each one of the guard bands. It's true these look similar at a glance, but does Mr. Tapley or any of these people really understand what a UPC code reader actually is seeing in these patterns? This is the pattern a barcode scanner sees when it looks at the number 6. The number 6, and actually every number in the UPC code, is represented by four bar space events. The code reading machines recognizes a 6 as a single bar, single space, single bar, followed by four spaces. The number 6 could also look like this, although the bars and spaces are now inverted. We still have the same pattern sequence of a 1, 1, 1, 4. In fact, the protocol for the decoding of all the UPC numbers is based on this 4 event pattern, each one unique for every number. To the undisciplined eye, this guard band at the beginning of the code could look like a 6. But if we fill in the pattern for the following number 1, we see that it is a 3 event pattern of 1, 1, 1, which doesn't fit the protocol. Likewise for the end guard band, if you can see the preceding number, it is clearly shown as another 3 event pattern of 1, 1, 1. Here's another problem with the number of the beast theory. The center guard band, which is visible when we identify the valid numbers on either side, clearly differs from the start and end guard bands. Here we have a 5 event pattern, which obviously doesn't fit the 4 event protocol either. Now we can clearly see that these patterns, found at the beginning, middle, and end of the UPC, do not represent a 6 or any other valid number. These patterns, or guard bars, are there to tell the barcode scanner to start, stop, or differentiate the manufacturer's number from the product code. But all this being said, I would hope to have enlightened at least a few people by understanding the mechanics involved in UPC decoding. I most assuredly expect Mr. Tavley and others to dismiss this analysis as more techno mumbo jumbo disinformation and lies from Satan. But if this is all misinformation and lies to aid a cover-up, and Mr. Tapley is correct about the UPC codes, then he has another problem. While he warns us so adamantly about the consequences of taking on the number of the beast, allow me to show you what a New York State driver's license looks like, complete with a barcode uniquely identifying its owner from thousands and thousands of other citizens. I would be willing to lay high stakes that William Tapley possesses a New York State's driver's license, and if he does, then he knows how important a New York State driver's license is in identifying you, you as an individual, to the government, to the banks, or to any institution that requires verified confirmation for any legal transaction. But then he may still have another problem to face and explain to his subscribers, which is the fact that he is disseminating the mark of the beast within his own published reading materials, which has reached an audience from around the world. This UPC code comes from none other than William Tapley's own book, Revelations Unraveled.